here uh, at the North Georgia Copper Mine with my boy Simon. And we're just, you know, hiking and we decided to come stop by and look at it. I'm trying to go inside. It's really dark and you probably can't see much on the video. But if you can, it's really cool. You should come check it out. Just, yeah, I don't know how you're going to find this place. You just yeah, got to yeah, pull off the side of the road. Wall, yeah, it's pretty sweet. So we just made it to the parking lot, Mount Yana. Uh, we're about to try and uh, go find some bouldering to do real quick. And then we're gonna go hike the mountain. Uh, it's actually right back up there, if you can see that. So just way up there is Mount Yona. <laughs> so that'll be a lot of fun. All right, so <laughs> all right, we are bouldering. We got the stuff, uh, me and Simon. So it's gonna be fun. So we don't really know the routes around here, but uh, we'll figure it out. I know there's an app, but we can't download it because you have no service. And uh, we didn't think ahead, did we? <laughs> so this will be really interesting. But uh, yeah, just hiking up to the bouldering area. We'll get there, hit some boulders. Uh, give up because we like don't know what we're doing, but I mean at least I got some shoes and chalk So that's all you need in a crash pad, right? You yeah, you got the equipment. You're pretty good All right, so yeah, let's just get to that Alrighty, so we had a couple of uh, people come up and they kind of showed us around the boulders and we found that uh, we got this V1 right here and uh, me and Simon up there, we went ahead and knocked it out. It was really easy. Um, but yeah, this whole face got a lot of boulders. So we'll probably just do a lot of bouldering right here. But uh, before too long, we should probably hit the trail so we don't get to camp at dark, which would be pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time, but... I mean, if it does happen, you know, it's an adventure, so it, it's cool. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun doing this. Just hit some, uh, some, uh, the V, it was like a, V3? it wasn't was V3, dude. Oh no, what's that? That was, that was a V1. <laughs> Down there, um, yeah. Oh, poop! Camera's busted up. But yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, we might hit a couple more boulders before we gotta get going. So, yeah. We are like basically the kings of bouldering now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we feel like it because we just conquered this transverse. Transverse up the side, flip your body, and then climb up the other side. It's not like it's a steep incline, but for us, it's like our first time doing bouldering. So if you come out here, this whole boulder is an excellent boulder to start on. It's got a bunch of V0s on it, uh, a couple of V1s. So yeah, just look for chalk marks and you can usually find a way or you can just free you know just climb it the way you feel like it and you, you might end up getting the right way um uh, there's also an app called mountain project you can download and they have a lot of the routes on there they have advice they have locations where they are um but yeah what i've heard is that so this whole area it goes down there pretty good those are the harder rocks you got your v10s and all your v8s and stuff and as you progress up the mountain they get easier so you want to start up high and then work your way down low. So once you do that, you'll be in good set. <laughs> Supporting the La Sportiva climbing shoes, the Finales. Yep. Excellent choice. 
I think these shoes work actually really well. Um, they got really good grip on this granite rock and they look really well for indoors too. And they're actually half comfortable for being a, a climbing shoe. But it is an intro shoe, so if you're just getting into stuff like we are, these are some good shoes to get. Um, there's lots of other ones out there, but these are just ones I got and tested them out. They work really well. Uh, also, over there, make sure you get a chalk bag for sure. Hands get chalky. And then you start getting blisters. That's lots of fun. Yeah. All right, so we're starting the uh, hike now. Up to Yona Mountain. So we're at 16? Uh, yeah, 1600 feet. About 1600 feet. So we'll see how high we get up here. All right, so we made it to the halfway point. Yeah, about. We took a, a shortcut and uh, it was really hard. So now we're all sweating pretty bad. It's pretty hot. Um, but. Yeah, you can see down there, we've made some good progress, pretty high. I think we're doing good. And then you go look up, and then, see that way up there? Yeah, that's where we're going. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. But we're going to keep going. All right, so uh, we kind of ran out of water, and um, we found this little stream, and we're like not sure there's any more water source out here. So we're going with it. So we used a Walmart bag and we filled it up with water and then we put it in the Sawyer pouch and then from there put the Sawyer and now we're filtering in fresh, cold mountain water. All right, so like we said earlier, we're doing is we're just putting the Walmart bag in and then the Walmart bag catches up the water. And then from there, we're gonna pour it into the Sawyer pouch and then we get the pouch full and we can filter our water pretty genius yep yeah so the um, the bag was his idea I was just sitting there trying to <laughs> hold this little cap under the water to try to get it to fill up but that didn't work so I mean I've never been on this mountain before so I really don't know how good it is but uh, should be fun yeah all right we made it to the top it's pretty sweet yep it was uh, how long it take us like like an hour, two hours. Like an hour or two hours to get here. With that shortcut, cut off like a good <laughs> fourth of this trail. So uh, yeah, we're gonna set up camp and stay here the night. The view is really nice. Uh, we set up camp. We're gonna we're gonna take this area right here. And the cool thing about it is that well, I mean, the view right there. That that view is um explain it so now we're just setting up our enos and then we're gonna go hike around and explore he's putting it from that tree to that tree and i'm gonna put mine over there in those trees so yeah it's a good plan all right so we got our fire burning well not burning we got a build we got extra firewood over here. Show more log cabin. Yeah, we got a. Uh, so inside of here, we've got the log cabin built, and we're gonna light that with some kindling. Get that going. It'll burn the rest of this. Now up here, we can't find many big logs, so we're just gonna have to keep filling it with the rest of this kindling stuff. But uh, should be pretty good. Yeah, should be good. So that's gonna be exciting. So for my sleep system, I have got my Eno and my Ember 2 under quilt, and then I'm using the uh, bug net for tonight. And uh, just got suspended through these two trees. It's actually pretty tight of a, a tree space, but um, doing some interesting looping with the straps, with these Atlas straps, I was able to get it to tighten up good enough to be able to sleep with it tonight. Um, hopefully I'm trying to see if we don't use a uh, rain tarp, because I'd like to be able to look up and see the stars tonight. But uh, if this starts getting dewy and I wake up wet, I'll know to put the rain tarp on there. Um, so I don't have any of that fancy bug net or under quilt. Uh, tonight I'll be sleeping in my Eno. I'm gonna lay a tarp down here inside the actual hammock to get rid of the wind chill. I'm gonna put my sleeping bag on top of that and it should be good, it should keep me nice and warm. Nice. See how it goes. Yeah, hopefully that'll go good. Just got it lined up. Just got using this tarp here. So, I mean, if you're desperate for 
just doing something real cheap and it works hey go yeah, for it, it. Cost me $10, so. yeah you don't always need the most expensive gear to have a good time out in the mountains right yep all right well we'll let you know how this works out tomorrow yeah we'll have to figure that out <laughs> all right so starting to get late we're go ahead and start cooking our meal so we've got a pot with a little stove cooking some water and then i've got a mountain house beef driving off really good stuff and uh simon's got his ready rice yep. potatoes and uh yeah so that'll be pretty good i'm getting hungry i'm sure we're all hungry so but yeah but uh the view out tonight is with the sun setting it's just really pretty out so hard to beat a, a meal with this kind of a view so I mean, it's getting pretty dark out, still on the front of this mountain. Simon's back there getting some stuff, just finished up cooking. He's got his potatoes right there, and he's got some ready rice. And then I got this beef stroganoff cooked up. About ready to dig in. It's going to be good. Uh, so, yeah, after this, we'll probably just go light that fire over there and just chill out as the stars start to appear. And we'll have a nice night's rest of just looking up the stars and, uh, it's getting pretty chilly out here uh forecast said it's going to be like 60 like low 60s at night so up here it's probably going to be around 50s high 50s something like that but uh so people have told us it's going to get pretty cold so you never know but yeah so about to eat some food made ourselves a little fire here Works pretty good. Simon. Yeah, so we got this fire going. It's going really good. Uh, probably gonna sit out here and enjoy the stars and the fire and make sure it burns out all good and head to sleep and catch some Z's. So yeah, it's been a good night. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and call this a, a night as far as the video camera goes, but we'll probably stay up gazing at stars. But uh, can't really see that but so far it's been a great night we'll see you in the morning alrighty so we uh, finished the first night and uh, everything went well Simon stayed warm yeah and there's a little tarp configuration and I stayed pretty warm in mine it was like really dewy last night so I put my rain tarp up but uh, it didn't even held off and uh, as you can tell like it's still like really cloudy and dewy up here because you can't even see anything <laughs> over this edge or you could see like miles so it's it's pretty sweet but uh yeah the campsite's put together and we're about to go hike back down to the trailhead yep. so uh, it's been a pretty good trip All right, so we are finally back to the parking lot. Finished our journey. You feeling good, Simon? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. It was, uh, what time is this? Still like, probably like 10 o'clock, maybe yeah, nine. Yeah. Took us like less than an hour to get down the mountain. You can't even see the mountain anymore. It's all covered up by the fog. So uh, that was pretty crazy, but uh, yeah. Um, this video was sponsored by Miracat Outdoor Products. So if you'd like to Go to the website, you can sign up for updates about his uh, new products releasing. I know he's got a new sleeping bag, uh, some rain tarps, and a bunch of other cool gear. And um, it's really affordable, but uh, very reliable, really durable gear. Um, just go to his website and sign up. You can actually get in a free giveaway, so make sure you do that. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.